everybody, this is Panina Taylor. Welcome to day 21 of the 30 day Unstuff Yourself Challenge. We are on a journey to unclutter our lives of physical stuff, emotional stuff, mental stuff. And if this is your first time joining me, please click on the link below, go to the introductory video, see what we're all about, take a look at the other videos and join us on this journey. It's never too late. You can always just start watching the videos and work through at your own pace. And if you haven't done so already, please go to my website, paninataylor.com, go to slash stuff or click on the link right here and enter the drawing for our $25 Amazon gift voucher as my way of saying thank you for joining me on this journey. Well, what am I getting rid of today? Hmm. I'm getting rid of broken picture frames. That's what I'm getting rid of. Broken picture frames. I've got a whole stack of them. I know that some people like to have them like piled up in the corner of their room. It's kind of artsy looking, you know, kind of gives it a, a neat sloppy look or whatever. But the truth is, is that all it is is taking up space. And I started thinking about the picture frame and what I thought about was all of the people that have been missing in my life. You know, people that I've lost either through friendships lost or through uh, deaths. But that got me thinking about things that are missing in our lives. How many of us spend time thinking about all of the things that we wish we had that we don't have? All of the things that are missing, the lack in our life. The problem is, is that, <laughs> what isn't a problem is that you are incredibly made in the image of God. And that means that you are powerful. That means your words are powerful and your thoughts are powerful too. The more you think on something, as it says in Proverbs, as a man thinks, so he is. The more you think about, the more you become what you're thinking about. Or another way to put it is that what you focus on, you get more of in your life. So the question is, do you want more of the good stuff that you've got in your life? Or do you want more lack, more emptiness, more missing stuff? So. Today, the challenge is to change our attitude to an attitude of gratitude. And my challenge to you is to start each day from now on naming five things that you are grateful for. You know, it's tradition in Judaism that every morning we wake up and we thank God immediately for giving us another day to live in this world, for giving us another day to breathe air and to have to to love and to make a difference in the world and after you do that after thanking god for giving you another day to live thank him for five things in your life things that you can focus on during the day and it's okay if day after day you're repeating the same things i saw uh, an interesting question someone posed they said what if you woke up tomorrow with only the things that you remembered to thank god for today so Instead of concentrating on the things that are missing in our lives, let's make a new commitment to focus on the things that we have, the good things that we have in our lives. I choose to focus on you. Thank you for being in my life. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow and live inspired.